Hello, my name is Lewis. Welcome back to Gathering the Magic. And have we got a good video today? I will quickly flick it through them now so you can see what is coming up. Uh, yeah, we've got all sorts of good stuff coming up today. So make sure you do hit that like button and subscribe for even more content. This is an idea that I've had for a really long time. I originally wanted to do, you know, every magic set ever, but that is uh, just something that is not going to be possible. So yeah, we've got all sorts of packs throughout the years. As you can see here, you might have noticed Ice Age just then. Also thrown in packs like Mystery Booster, New Double Masters, all sorts. Oh, got Gate Crush there. And Abyssin. Now I've got these in three piles already, so I might as well just keep them. Keep them there. We'll keep one up there. One down here. And away we go. Don't know if any of you uh, have or haven't seen. On our Instagram, we're currently running a giveaway. So yeah, do check that out and skip through all of these commons and uncommons. Lightning Grease, nice, off to a good start and a base salt monolith. Pretty damn good commons, a thought reflection. Baleful Styrix, clear shot, Woodland Champion. Uh, so there you go, nothing too, uh, nothing too amazing for that first pack, but a nice little double rare to start things off. And obviously, we need to start this uh, big 36 pack set off with pulling a prickly mama set. So, here we go, Blade Banish. Where are you? If we get prickly mama set here, it's going to be a great pack opening, isn't it? And no, onto the uncommons. Ominous Seas, great card. What is the rare going to be? Mythos of Illuna. Again, really was hoping for something like a Fiend Artisan. Or, you know, maybe even a Bruge Moth would have been quite nice there. And next, we are on to Theros Beyond Death. And hopefully, the one card we want here is that Uro card. That's going to be that's going to be the big dog in here. I think that's worth about $60, $60 at the minute, which would be very nice. Okay, here we go. Who's it going to be? Elspeth Conquers Death. Good card in standard, but not a not a game breaker there. And a forest. And moving on from Theros Beyond Death, we have to go next straight to Theros. And here again, it's not an incredible set, but it has got a Nykthos shrine to Nyx, which would be very cool to pull. And look at these older cards. Imagine how long this has just been sat there, unopened. Omen speaker, here we go. Are we gonna get it? No, we're not. They've got ship breaker kraken as the rare. Okay, and yeah, uh, we'll go on to I mean not a popular set, as it's still really cheap and it's about 20 years old, but we have fallen empires. Eight cards, not been open since the 90s. <laughs> And I think you can get duplicates in this, so yeah, we'll see. Thrill Wizard, Dwarven Soldier, High Tide. And nothing really cool out, but nothing rare in that one. But something you can get rare is here. You can get that sexy Yuzin Man. You can get Teferi. You can get Grim Tutor. Let's see what we're gonna get. Get through all of these commons. Tempered of Veteran, Unleash Fury. Carvec the Spiteful. Again, not, not an amazing one. Not, not got that mythic yet. Okay, and the other old set, which is uh, again, not very popular, eight cards, but you know. You wanna open a bit of everything. And here we'd like something like an Apocalypse Chime would be nice. Oh, look how old these cards look. Ebony Rhino and an Abbey Matron. No, nothing rare in there. 
yeah, I've just upgraded to a new camera and microphone. So it'll be interesting to see what this looks like, what it sounds like, and see if we can get a nice quality. Ooh, I may get a, I think, Field of the Dead in M20, so that'd be nice. Horse claw, sleep paralysis. Ooh, here we go, Season of Growth, Air Elemental, Graph Digger's Cage. Ah, okay, still not got a Mythic yet. I mean, if you get a normal box, you're expected to get four to six mythics. So this is just completely, completely random. And here, I think the only card that's worth getting is a Voice of Resurgence. So let's hope we have one in here. Cluestone, another Cluestone. Come on. Advent of the Worm. Uh, rare, but not not rare enough now we can move on to my favorite sets or one of my favorite sets anyway throne of eldraine and i've pulled a few ocos before so let's pull let's pull an oco let's pull a brazen borrower that'll be brilliant flaps an intruder oh nice so cool little alternate art we'll put we'll put over there probably have our own path for the whole thing Okay, here we go. Lock Dragon. Oh my god! He's done it again! He's done it again! Magic Madhouse only send him Ocos. This is the third time I've just bought a single pack off there before. <laughs> We've got another Oco. That is incredible. First Mythic and another Oco. And a foil! Foil rare. Doom foretold. There we go. So, all of a sudden we've got four different categories. Okay, nearly at the end of the first 12, I'm gonna have a mystery booster to finish off. Oh, here we go. Oh, Fate Reforged, famous for having its own Ugin at the Spirit Dragon. So let's really hope that we can that we can get an Ugin, get that double mythic. I can't believe we've got another Oko. Incredible. Frost Walker, Soul Flayer. Ah, uh, no, not worth a lot. Oh uh, well, <laughs> got really hyped up for Ugin then. Well, we'll put you in there. Okay, last pack for the first third. And we all know what we want here. We want that Mana Crypt. We want a Teferi's Protection. Path to Exile, good start. I mean, the price will have come down on it a little bit, but let's have a look, built to last. Omen Speaker, Cabal Therapy, decent. Fallen Angel, Death Hood Cobra, Urban Evolution, Crumbling, Crumbling, <laughs> Crumbling, no, Doomscape, Silvala, Heart of the Wild, nice. That is wicked, and that's another mythic, and I think a pretty valuable one at that. And a Puka's Mischief. Oil, good for exchanging permanents. Oh, that is wicked. Wow, <laughs> a third of the way through and two mythics. I'd say we're on track. Uh, let's go for this block next. We'll start with Zendikar releasing soon. We'll go for battle for Zendikar. Can we get an Ulamog, a Ceaseless Hunger? Here we go. Going to be so many Eldrazi and horrible things in this set. Myers Malice. Love the art in this set. It's just it's just a bit gross, but in the best possible way. Titan's presence, Wasteland, Strangler. Uh, not that good old Ulamog, but you know what? Silvala and Oko, I am happy at the minute. And lovely, lovely full art mountain. Okay. And War of the Spark. I don't know, does anyone ever go back and watch that War of the Spark trailer that was just really, really good? Uh, here we go, Return to Nature. Let's get through all of these. Nixilis. Oh, I'm so excited. And we've got Kiora. Pretty nice. Vivian's Arcbow. Another rare. And yeah, pretty, pretty damn good card. But you just make it in the pile. Okay, next we've got Born of the Gods. 
not not an amazing set, but it has got a uh, Brymaz, which is I think the most valuable card of the set. So let's hope we get that archetype of aggression. Oh, pretty pretty nice. What was that? Okay, there we go. That's the rare hero of Lena Tower. Not worth not worth a lot. Let me go in the pile. Okay, and the last one, and probably, well, the last one of the core set cards. And probably the best core set set in the last few years. Uh, obviously, you've got that Nickel Bolas, got the Crucible of Worlds. Oh, poor Colossal Dreadmore. You know, Gargi, are you? Crush through. Okay, already finished. So I pro pro ah, Prodigious Growth. Again, just, a, just for everyday standard rare. Really getting hyped up now for, for trying to get the big cards, but they're just not coming to me. And next we've got Journey into Nyx. And like a few of these sets, there's only one card worth getting here, and that is Mana Confluence. So let's see if we're going to get it. Oh. Here we go. Harness by Force with Strive. There we go. Okay, now we've got a little little Ravnica, Ravnica block coming up. So we've got Return to Ravnica. And we want a Cyclonic Rift, don't we? You just want a Cyclonic Rift. You don't want anything else in this set. I don't even think if anything is even worth close to it. Obviously coming down in price due to Dibble Masters and Mercurial Chemister. Nice little is it card. But as I've said four or five times already, nothing special. Okay, and let's go to Guilds of Ravnica, where could be the best one because I believe Guilds is the one with the shock lands. So let's see if there's anything shocking in here. I really hope so, that'd be wicked. I think this is another pack I got of Magic Madhouse as well, so Hope they do me good. Thought Erasure. Got me on it. Night of Autumn. Uh, hoping for a shop land. And those two to finish it off. And finish off our little Ravnica. Ravnica bundle here. We've got Ravnica Allegiance. And here is probably the one I'm most excited for because I want a Smothering Tithe. And they come in this set. We persistent petitioners, cool. Guy engineer, font of agonies. Okay, another oath. Not another oath. An oath of the Gatewatch here. I'm not really sure what the big hitters are in this one, so. So here we go. Coslex Pathfinder. Player drone, Zendikar Resurgeon. Is that an expensive card or not? I'm sure editor me will say yes or no right now. I'm pretty sure it's a pretty good card though. But just a rare. Nice full art swamp. Okay, Aether Revolt time now. If you are enjoying this, do hit that like button, smash subscribe. Any sort of packs or anything you want me sets you want me to open in the near future, let me know and I will oblige. Okay, one of walking ballister here, I know that much. Get it. And we get a green wheel liberator. Where are the mythics at? Mythics, where are the mythics at? Here we go, mountain and an energy reserve. Energy counter, pretty cool. Okay, two more packs left in this second block. Amon Kit and Champions of Kamigawa. It's a huge set there. Amon Kett, obviously we're looking for that anointed procession card. Can we get it? Cancel. We shall see. I think we're just nearly at 200 subscribers now, which is amazing. Uh, Hazaret's favour. Pretty cool. So yeah, if you have, haven't taken part in that giveaway, check out our Instagram. Um, yeah, it is for subscribers of this channel. So if you are subscribed and you don't follow our Instagram, check it out anyway. Okay, here we go. A 
Let's see what we get. Oh, a few good cars in this set. I really want that kiki jiki. Ah, let's see what we're gonna get. Crushing pain, wandering ones, Moss Cami. Oh, what's it gonna be? Glimpse of nature. Maybe play a quick spell. Ah, it's good for it's good for card draw, but it's uh, not what I wanted. On to the final 15 now, and we've got a big one here. Big one. We've got Ice Age. Another very old, very old set. And this is going to be really, really cool to open. First time I've ever opened one of these myself. So take our time and enjoy it. I think we spoke. Martin, that's wicked. That is wicked. Circle of Protection White. Yeah, they had circles for all the colours, didn't they? Blessed Wine, Tarpan. Zuran Enchanter, Summon Wizard. Really nice card. Again, it's not, it doesn't look like great condition, but it's been sat in a package for 15 years or so. But yeah, there we go. Ice Age opened. Okay, straight on to Kaladesh. Let's pull up. One of those nice little panharmonicans, or I don't know what else they've got. They've got Chandra's here. I mean, you could say that for any set. Chandra's basically everywhere, aren't she? Here we go, Cathartic Reunion. Eliminates the competition. Good creature removal. Just another rare. Okay, on to the next one, which I'm really excited for because I know Emrakul is in this set and imagine pulling an recall in this video. Ooh that would be amazing. Let's get straight to it. Nice little double. Aldrich. Oh, a mythic. Ulrich of Kralenhord. So I'm not gonna get Emrakul, but that is that is pretty cool. Nice little legendary. Flippable. Werewolf. There we go, it's another mythic for the pile, which I will make into a pile now. Uncommon. Okay. So, oh, double rare. Double rare. Very nice. I've never seen a pack before. Okay, a little Ixlan, Ixlan block now. Can't say I've ever pulled a mythic just in the middle of a pack. So, poor. Apologies, I just knocked over my camera, literally. So, yeah. Be a bit more careful with the new toy. Plummet. Let's see. What are we going to get? Another mythic, get four mythics. Uh, we've got Tezigmot Primal Death. Really wanted that Zakama. Okay. And on to Ixlan. Our best chance to get that knockoff Guy's Cradle, that Itlamog. Growing rights of Itlamog. Okay, Fire Cannon Blasters. Fire cannon through these last few packs. Revel in Riches R. Oh, okay, wicked, wicked card. Really, loads of good ways to try and get loads of mana. I'm a big fan of that. On to Dragons of Tarkir. Um, so I'm not. I don't really have any clue what the most valuable one is. So. And we'll just act really excited as soon as I see an M. Get that fourth M for our random mystery booster pack box. Best reincarnation. And yeah. A few more chances yet to go to try and get that fourth mythic. And on to Hour of Devastation now. And there's only one card that I want to get in this, and that is the Scarab God. That'd be a lovely little card for me. Pride Sovereign. Very good in there with the cats. Cats and dogs coming into play a lot more. I'll be very good for it. And we've got a foil. We've got a foil. Is it going to be a rare foil? It's not. It's just a carrion screecher. Oh well. You can go in the foil bar. Okay, Dominaria. Let's look for that Teferi, Hero of Dominaria. Hopefully Teferi can take a break from... 
So yeah, as I was saying, let's hope Fairy isn't in the next few sets. I've had a bit of Fairy overload. Unless I get him now, that'll be the uh, Territorial Allosaurus. Not quite. Yeah, is, uh, is everyone excited for Zendikar Rising? I certainly am. Can't wait. Loved the little uh, spoilers that came out the other day with uh, Jimmy Wong, Day 9 and the gang. Let's see. Watching the web. Rabid Bite. Epiphany at the Drown Yard. Not worth a lot at all. It's about 50p. Uh, got that in the, uh, in the $100 Instagram box. Oh, Coil Island, very nice. Okay, we've got three packs left and saving Abyssin restored for the end because I think that'll be one of the best ones. But here we've got plenty of chances for good cars like Breeding Pool amongst others. Cool Gate, Naturalize. Boros Reckoner is the rare, good good little card, but not oh, as expecting. Okay, cards of Tarkir. I saved this for the penultimate pack because again, it's another one of those ones that has fetch lands in. So let's see. Probably a long shot, but you never know, do you? You never know. And high Sentinels of Arashir. Damn. Nice little swamp. And <laughs> Magic 2015. <laughs> Card. Okay. Last pack. Here we go. And we want, obviously, we want Abyssin, but I'll also take a Crater of Behemoth. That will be wicked with them. Okay, go. I yeah, hope everyone has enjoyed this. It was very fun to sort of collect these over the last few months. I wasn't really sure when I was going to do it, but now since we're time as any demonic rising. Your intercept you control at one creature. Five five dragon on the line on the field. There we go. I won't flick through all of the rares because quite a lot, but actually let's go through the mythic see what we've got. We've got a nice little Oko. We've got an Ulrich of the Crown Horde and we've got Savala Heart of the Worlds incredible yeah thank you for watching please do like and hit that subscribe button for more future content and yeah zendikar rising coming out soon so lots of openings to look forward to for now i'm all tapped out so until next time see you later